morning, everyone. I'm just going to be taking you guys along our weekend. I've been wanting to do a weekend in the life kind of vlog for a while now, and I'm just now getting down to it. Um, it's kind of been a rough morning. We already ate, and as you can see, house is a little bit of a mess. And I got Kyla dressed, and Jude is still eating some of his breakfast. I let him watch a little something on the tablet this morning because I was exhausted. I don't usually let him do that, but today was special. Anyway, um, today, yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along our weekend and show you what we do in a weekend. Um, obviously, each weekend is a little different. But um, anyway, Josiah is at work, and it is Friday. <sighs> And tonight we go to um, an RU, which is like a discipleship program at our church. And Josiah and I do the teens, or uh, work with the teens. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be home, and then in the evening we'll go to our church. But anyway, so I'll take you guys along with me. Real quick, I wanted to show you guys, don't mind the mess of our front porch or back porch and the messy window. But um, these cute overalls that she got from her nana, um, they're just so cute. I love them. And she's not going to want... Kyla, can you show them off? Let me see. They're just adorable. I love these little buttons and the little design. I love her little outfit today. But anyway. One of my least favorite jobs of the morning is actually cleaning up after the kitchen. Though it might not look like a big mess. It's just a mess. I don't like cleaning up after dishes. <laughs> but I also got up real early this morning with Josiah to make him breakfast. So those are from early this morning. And then those are from just this morning, most of them. Or just this recently. And then I gotta go put everything in the back of the pantry. And clean up counters and all the crayons on the floor. But And at some point get dressed because I am not dressed I don't know about you guys but it's always like when you're pregnant you'll have like now this isn't just when you're pregnant because I feel like if you're a mom this happens too but especially when you're pregnant and tired already all the time I feel like some mornings are just hard especially with two other kids <sighs> like I try to get up early and then like I get up early with Josiah but end up going, like, having some Bible time and then just falling asleep. And it's good. I haven't, like, tried to stop doing that, mainly due to the fact that I do need that sleep. My body is creating another little life. And um, so, you know, there's that. But anyway, and I'm getting close to how the halfway mark. I'm almost 17 weeks along, and I'm excited to almost be halfway done, so... But, and baby's kicking so much. But anyway, I kind of want to just mention it's not always easy to get up early when you have other kids and you're pregnant. So it is now lunchtime. I'm feeding my child. Well, actually, we have a couple leftovers. We have leftover gluten-free pizza um, from the other night. It's actually a taco-style pizza and homemade rice and Asian ground beef. And with this, I like to put on top, like, avocado and, like, um great carrot and then like some cucumbers but um we don't use soy sauce because a lot of soy products are really bad for your body and so we use liquid aminos which is a similar taste to it um but this is actually healthy for your body so um it's essentially uh aminos and so it's a great soy sauce alternative and so it tastes so good and i think it tastes better than soy sauce just my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to warm that up and that is what we're going to have. So anyway. and everything today but I figured that like maybe I would do some stretching today and do maybe some light exercise this morning that did not happen 
And so I like just wore leggings and comfy clothes and instead of actually getting dressed and figured, oh, I'll just get dressed after the kids get up and after I do my morning stretching. Well, you know, it just never works for me and I think what I need to start doing is making myself stretch and then making myself before the kids get up really quickly get dressed because otherwise it just doesn't happen. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just need more discipline. It's probably what I need because I'm still in loungewear. And I like getting dressed up, semi-dressed up in the daytime. Um, like, especially if I'm going to film a few videos or um, make some uh, social media content. And so I'm supposed to do some of that today and when the kids are napping, but we'll see what I get done. It's totally fine if I don't. Motherhood is full of the not always getting stuff done, but. Oh yeah, and I figured that these are, um, <laughs> Judah learned how to paint, like watercolor paints, and he got it for Christmas or something. And so he has loved doing this. And so that's what's all over my fridge right now. I love it. I do not keep his drawings for very long. I keep them up for a little bit and then I throw them away. If I kept all of them, I would have a lot of junk and I only, I'll probably keep a few just for him to have when he's an adult, just for, you know, keepsakes, but very few. So I don't keep papers. Are you trying to show them? Careful, it's hot. Lunch. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick what Judah's doing here. These are like the, they're like stickers, but they're like plastic and so they don't like, not have any sticky residue on them, but they stick to things like your fridge and other plastic appliances. And so I would highly recommend getting a few of these. Um, we actually got them with a kit. So he had a bunch of like different sticker mats that he could put them on uh, or plastic mats he could put them on. And then those got ripped during a trip. So the mats and the backgrounds aren't anymore. So we just use the stickers on the fridge, which is a really cool idea. I didn't even think about it till you started sticking them on here. But um, they just stick there and then you can peel them right off. And um, they're really great, great activity ideas. Um, I don't know where you would get more of these. I'm sure online you can get them separately from an actual kit. Um, the kits are really cool too. Like, especially if you're traveling and they have like little background mats that you can put the cars on and stuff. But these are definitely super cool. And he and Kyla both love just putting them on the fridge. But anyway, thought I'd share that. Hey guys, so it's really bright in this room. So sorry about the lighting, um, but the kids are napping. So glad. As you can see, I'm a little bit more put together. Put some light mascara on, brush my hair. I actually got dressed. And here's a little bump, in case you guys are wondering. I'm almost 17 weeks. I will be on Monday, I'll be 17 weeks long, which is crazy to think. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I have some time. I'm gonna try and work on some Instagram content and even like even try and plan out. I have some Pinterest pins that I've been meaning to make um, and just a lot of other stuff I'm trying to work on. So we're gonna try and get some of that done. I don't know how much more filming I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I hope to definitely do more filming tomorrow and Sunday. Um, but yeah, so I'm just glad that the kids are down for a nap. Um, Judah does quiet time because he doesn't always take a nap, so he stays in bed and plays with toys or reads books quietly. Um, and then Kyla still takes a nap, but oh, I have some time without the kids, and so I am going to enjoy it. <laughs> Try to get some stuff done. So that's what I'm going to be doing next.
much more like warm out here. I want to say it's like 40 degrees. It's just so pretty outside. So beautiful. I really needed sunshine. It's so bright. I like my guys, I like my glasses, guys. They're actually, not even mine. I'm pretty sure they're my brother's or my husband's. I don't remember. But I, didn't, I couldn't find mine, so I decided to go ahead and grab what I could find. But, oh my goodness, it's just so pretty. I'm turn the camera around here. Go check the mail. Waiting for some packages, hoping they come. But it's so pretty outside. I love living here. I can't imagine living anywhere else. This mailbox is broken. Hold on. Oh look, packages. Yay. The vitamins that we've been getting. Okay. See if I can't like carry it all here. Yay, I did it. Okay, back to the house. Good morning everyone. It's the next day, Saturday, and um, didn't film the rest of yesterday. Um, just kind of forgot and got busy. We went to um, church and did our uh, discipleship stuff and um, we're in church with the teens, so we're doing that. Sorry if I'm a little, my voice is a little weird. Just woke up a little bit, a little bit ago, but anyway, so Kyla's up with me, she's eating there, and Josiah went to church this morning to, um, the, our church has a men's prayer, prayer breakfast, uh, once a month, and so this month, um, it was a Saturday, so, anyway, that's what he's doing, he'll be home soon, and then Judah's actually still sleeping, so it's just me and Kyla right now, so I'm going to eat some peanut butter toast with honey on top and some apples she's eating peanut butter toast with honey on it and then she had a banana um so that's what we're doing pretty simple stuff this morning i gotta take my pills so anyway and i'll keep taking guys along but anyway so here we go <laughs> it's our winter morning fog actually really pretty and yes that's our tree the Christmas tree that froze because Josiah didn't take the stand off of it and set it outside and there was still water in the bottom so um we're waiting for it to kind of thaw um so let's hang in there it's okay everything's just frozen right now like there's ice everywhere so and yeah we have stuff that we gotta get rid of I really can't wait till it gets warmer out so we can like clean our yard more but so just me or in the winter time you accumulate things on your porch and I don't know spring comes and everything's a mess <laughs> but anyway pretty morning say hi Kyla eating your toast yeah, yeah. is it yummy <laughs> hi okay so we finally got Judah up and everything. Josiah's back. Ready. We're going to go watch a um, friend of ours do, and his basketball game. So we're headed out and about. So we're going to go do that. And then we'll come back. And Josiah and I are going to go out to eat um, a little later this evening. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so yeah, it wasn't planned, but we decided that... Um, we go and watch a basketball game. We haven't been in a long time. And Josiah and some of my brothers actually used to do um, a homeschool basketball group down here. And so it'd be kind of fun. He's, this friend of ours is actually in this basketball homeschool 
basketball group. So he's 13 and um, so anyway, <clears throat> gonna go watch him and have some fun, so. So we were laying on the couch. Messiah's still napping a little bit. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> I just um bakers. Yeah. And anyway, um, we got back from the game, and um, our team did not win, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um. So I'm gonna go get Kyla up because she took a nap. Um, Judah and I didn't take a nap, but we lay down and rested. And then Josiah and I are about to go out to eat, and um, so we're going to go drop the kids off with a friend, um, and so we're going to go ahead and get ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get Kai up. You got your punching bag? Hi, Kaina. Hi, sweetie. Want come to mommy? Get up and change your diaper and get you ready to drop. Blah, blah, blah. We just dropped the kids off, and so now we're gonna go uh, to eat. Haven't done this in a while. Um, actually, I don't remember the last time we did, <laughs> but we were given a gift card to one of our favorite restaurants, so we're gonna go. Ahead. about because we're trying to get to church it's um sorry it's so literally ah I'm trying to eat breakfast take my pills all that lovely stuff um but trying to get going um we have sunday school at 10 a.m and then we have regular services at 11 a.m and then we have a afternoon service at like 1 30 but anyway so we're getting ready to go and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna finish breakfast and get the kids out. <laughs> all right, so we are on our way to church. Sorry if I don't look at the camera, but I am trying to be responsible and drive. So um, anyway, on our way to church. Today is really, we're just gonna spend a lot of time in church with um, all three services, Sunday school, morning service, and then evening or afternoon. We always have like a light um, lunch with our church right after the morning service. And so we're gonna do that, and then we will probably just go home after that, maybe put the kids down for a slight nap, and um, hang out at home. But it's kind of our plan for today, nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is what we are up to. Um, I don't expect there to be a lot involved in this uh, today. So this will be the last few segments of wrapping up this vlog. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll keep taking you guys along and showing you what, kind of what we do and uh, all that, so. church. We stayed a little later than usual, which is fine. And so we just got home a little bit ago. And we have cranky children because they didn't have a nap. They did have a few minutes on the way home, which was good. But anyway, so we just got home and our house is 
slightly messy, but that's okay. <laughs> Just gonna kind of try and relax and chill out here. <laughs> but Sundays are always busy, which is good. But full of fellowship with other believers and a church. Learning more about Jesus, right, Judah? What is that? I don't know. Do you like learning That's about Jesus? Kyla's feet. Those are Kyla's feet. Not paying attention, but anyway. <laughs> you say hi? No. I'm sorry. She's not very happy. <laughs> she's not very happy. I'm sorry I'm hurting you, Pete. You say hi? I got a date. Why is he schooled or he got a <laughs> Anyway, so. That's what we're doing right now. I'll let you guys know if it changes, but um, yeah. So, not a whole lot of filming going on today, but that's okay. <laughs> so, I'm straining out kefir right now. Um, kefir is a fermented dairy um, drink and it's a probiotic. It's really good for you. And um, there's also like water kefir, this is milk kefir specifically. Um, you use like you use milk essentially. I have used um, these kefir, kefir grains with um, goat's milk, and it works just great. Actually, and it was raw goat's milk too. So um, right now I'm using uh, like some fresh. It is pasteurized, but local dairy um, around this area anyway. And um, but I just can't afford raw milk right now because it's. It's really expensive so um we just do the best um and healthiest uh store-bought pasteurized milk and it works great um but i would definitely highly recommend grass-fed and uh, non-gmo with uh it, like used cow's milk that hasn't had you know um cows with Oh, that are grass-fed, that are non-GMO, that don't eat anything, don't have antibiotics in any of their food, or that, anyway, do your research on the healthiest milk, um, healthiest pasteurized milk. But anyway, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just straining the grains and the milk, and it turns it into this thick, creamy stuff, and then I'll show you, after I'm done straining the grains and the liquid, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so here's what it looks like after I'm done straining the grains. And these are the grains, kind of funny consistency, but they're like um, almost like a gummy bear consistency. And I absolutely love these for like an actual snack. If you put some stevia in here and eat them, it's like so good. But a lot of people think I'm weird, so that's fine. But And then here's the kefir. Hold on, sorry, I'm trying to switch my hand here. But it's just the thick kefir that is left over. And this is super great. You can flavor it with all kinds of like different, you can flavor it with a smoothie. Um, you can add some stevia. You can drink it like this, but I wouldn't recommend that because it doesn't taste that great. Um, but it's super good. So anyway, that's what I do there. And then now I'm going to make some more, another batch of kefir to ferment. So I'll show you how I do that. All I do really is just put the kefir in a jar and add the milk. Here's the milk I've been using. Um, it's called Lifeline Farm. It's here. It's a, it's a local organic. It is organic. Okay, I wasn't sure. But it's organic and fresh. Um, and it's actually non homogeneous Wait a sec. Sorry, I'm trying to read it while I'm talking to you guys. But it's gently pasteurized. So, not ultra, which is what you're looking for. Um, anyway, it's definitely more expensive than regular milk. And this is a half a gallon. But I can usually make, like, three batches out of just this. Um... Anyway, so that's what I use, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in, then I'm gonna pour the milk, mix it up, and then I'll put it in the fridge and let it ferment. Filled it up with milk, and now I just stir the milk and the kefir grains together really good. Then I cover it with some sort of breathable cloth. I am using paper towel that I used with the other one. Put a rubber band over it. And voila, you can stick it in the fridge. Um, if you stick it in the fridge, it usually can ferment over the last like two, three days, maybe a week. If you leave it out, it'll take like 24 hours and it'll be done. So, um, 
but yeah anyway so i'm gonna go put it in the fridge because i don't need kefir right away because it's right here so so i'm gonna do right now all right guys so i've made my kefir um the rest of the evening is just going to be spent relaxing with my kids and my husband um and then we're gonna go to bed so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was fun um i've been wanting to do a weekend vlog forever and I am glad I actually was able to get it done and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if you've ever heard of milk kefir or if you've ever made it because I'd love to know. And if you have any cool recipes to make with your kefir, I would also love to know that. But anyway, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week.